the number 10 player not in the Hall of Fame, Ken Anderson. It didn't help Ken Anderson that he had an awful mustache. That does not look good on a bust. Oof. You understand? Shave it. Am I going to be immortalized in the Hall of Fame with a crop duster? If NFL computers were programmed to construct the ideal quarterback, they would print out Kenny Anderson. I definitely believe Ken Anderson belongs in the Hall of Fame. He was an NFL MVP, a four-time Pro Bowler, four-time NFL passing champion. What a throw from Anderson. And he played with consistency for 16 years. Absolutely should be in the Hall of Fame, 100%. You could put his statistics up against 75% of the quarterbacks that are in the Hall of Fame, and he will have them beat in every particular category. Anderson is going to get in. If you look at his 1974 and 1975 seasons, looks fired into the end zone. They are some of the best seasons of all time. He was completing 62% of his passes at a time when the NFL average was 52%. If I had a son who was right-handed and I wanted him to watch somebody throw the football, watch him just perform, watch his footwork and watch his arm, Kenny Anderson would be as good as any. Heck, I just want Kenny Anderson's name to appear uh, on the final 25 or 15. Ken Anderson can't get in that room. There's like a barricade on that door. Ken Anderson usually came up with a lot of competition. I was a Ken Anderson man, but... If there were other people that were better, and sometimes there were, then it was tough, then Ken didn't make it. But it was our number 10 player, not Joe Montana, who proved the West Coast offense could work in the NFL. He was the first quarterback that really ran the West Coast offense that Bill Walsh took from Cincinnati and instilled out in San Francisco with his modifications. Ken Anderson was a pioneer. Anderson back to throw, looks, fires into the end zone, touchdown. I don't know if that means he's a Hall of Famer, but I think it means he shouldn't be forgotten. Kenny right now is probably the epitome of the NFL quarterbacks. To run the kind of offense that we're running right now, you have to be able to read defenses almost flawlessly. The temperature in greater Cincinnati has dropped to nine below. We're talking a wind-chilled 59 degrees below zero. He played another great quarterback who's in the Hall of Fame and who also deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, and that's Dan Fouts in the biggest game of Dan Fouts' career. The Freezer Bowl in Cincinnati for the AFC title in 1981. And who won the game? Dan Fouts got in the Hall of Fame, and Ken Anderson beat him. The Bengals put this AFC title away. I think that's a silly argument. Frank Ryan beat Johnny Unitas in the 1964 NFL championship game. Somebody going to tell me that Frank Ryan should be in the Hall of Fame and Johnny Unitas shouldn't? I think the fact that he never had great postseason success will always hurt him. Here's Anderson back pedaling, toes a pass over the middle. Ken Anderson, had he won the Super Bowl after the 1981 season against the 49ers, I don't believe he's in there. The 49ers are held. He would definitely be in the Hall of Fame. The 49ers have won it, beating the Cincinnati Bengals in the Super Bowl. It wasn't his fault they lost 26-21 close game. Heck of a player. But when I think of Hall of Famer, I don't want to have to think about whether he's a Hall of Famer. I want to know, you know what, Roger Staubach is a Hall of Famer. John Elway, Hall of Famer. With Anderson, you got to think about it. If you're a quarterback looking to get in the Hall of Fame and you never won a Super Bowl, your argument is very thin, very weak. Ken Anderson didn't do that. I cannot take any argument that he should be in seriously because of that.